You ready to fight? You ready? Good. With the Brazilian flags waving, his fans voicing their support, Jose Aldo Jr. ready to go here tonight. Probably will be starting to land those leg kicks here in the early going, Aldo Jr. All right, so a big early land by the boxer. He put a lot of steam on that one as he's able to get that hook home, DC. He lands it perfect. I mean, he throws it perfect. Right hand is always where it needs to be. If he throws it with the right, the left hand's always where it needs to be. It's tight, it's crisp, and it lands with a lot of power. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. And he blocks the shot there. Oh, how good was that combo? He is really doing a nice job stringing his shots together now. Well, you know, Eric Fierro, the Lions MMA, likes the output out of Jeremy Stevens here early. And I think big picture, DC, this is a pace that he can keep up for 15 minutes. What a wild start to this fight, unless, of course, you like defense. What a great fight so far. These guys are laying it all on the line. Hand counter. All right, leg kicks are the weapon of choice early for this kickboxer. No surprise that he would try to attack that lead limb of the boxer, who all of a sudden has to make some adjustments, and we're just getting started. Well, he's got to beat that lead leg up. He's got to limit the mobility of the boxer by kicking that leg over and over again. He did it early. Let's see if the boxer can start to pick up on it and try to check that kick so that he doesn't get beat down and be very limited in his approach. Now he's got the single collar in the clinch. Just over three minutes here to go round one. Stevens is bleeding from the mouth. Daniel looks as though there's a cut on his lip. Thankfully, he's a lot tougher than I am. Nice athleticism from Stevens to avoid that potential takedown. And just misses with that big right hand. And blocks the shot there. Man, these guys have some chins on them. Huge shots being landed on both sides. That punch, no good. Just that arrange with that left hook. Tags him with that uppercut. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Just out of range with that right hook. Under two minutes here to go in round one. Late round action here, and it has been vintage Jose Aldo all night mixing up his weapons. Absolutely beautiful on the field. He's mixed them up beautifully, and he's doing a great job of recognizing, hey, this is where I'm best. I know my hands are great. I know my grappling's great. But when I get these leg kicks going, no one can go with me. It's showing again why Jose Aldo's just a man. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the butt that would end the night. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. He hurt him again. If I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around. It feels like the finish is there for the team. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find the punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Leg kick. All right, so he's dealing with some swelling upstairs, and you got to think his opponent is. Oh, he's got it. He can't even stand. Gets back to his feet. And a very 
close round. A takedown like that might be the difference. All right, heading back to the corner, and Stevens' corner looks a little bit concerned, perhaps because of that cut on the lip that was opened up there in that round. Starting to bleed pretty good. Cutman's got his work to do now. All right, so there's the end of the round, and on one side, thrill on the other, agony after that knockdown. Yeah, he was able to really damage him with that big punch. You see the hands, the speed, how sharp he is, how technical he is. It allows him to land in spots where his opponent is winging punches. Great strike landed, great punch landed to put his opponent down. All right, now we get to our second round, DC. Right, right. Jose Aldo right. versus Jeremy right. Wilhelm Stevens. Solid punch, Lance Ford. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Aldo. Big power shot there. Aldo's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Going to the body now with that hook. Well placed there by Stevens. And they clinch. Oh, that right hand barely missed there. So the blood really starting to flow. Every time that area gets targeted, that cut's getting worse. It's getting worse and worse. And you see the blood starting to come down. That is when you start to watch the fighter to see what type of effect it starts to take on him, whether or not he's reaching for it. Oh! Back to the feet! Oh, whoa! Both landed. Full guard now, DC. And for the guy on top, he needs to build posture or just go to the next position, start shoving that knee through, trying to get the half guard, which in turn will lead to more opportunities for advancement. But if you're on the bottom, you need to be anticipating, you need to be framing, you need to be moving, looking for opportunities to either reverse the position or get back to your feet. Well, this fight's been pretty crazy thus far. Both guys. Oh! I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on SportsCenter tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. All right, here's Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at one minute, 50 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Jose Aldo Jr. All right, so what a highlight. I swear I care about the code, but I get handled over fares is what I care about the most. The man world when it's going off, but with this in your monthly dissidents. The man I write a practice, and we get the practitioners. Eating them alive, it's like I'm needing them for sustenance. I'm out here getting big like they've been feeding me some supplements. Never follow them, because they've been moving shambolic.